Hello everyone, welcome to this Friday, August 5th. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seas of the Word community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us today. On this day, the church celebrates the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major. The Basilica, built in the 4th century under Pope Liberius, was first called the Liberian Basilica. About the year 435, it was repaired and reconsecrated as the Basilica of the Virgin Mary under the Council of Ephesus, proclaimed Mary the Mother of God. It is called St. Mary Major because it is older and larger than other churches in Rome also dedicated to Our Lady. So a day that the church brings to our attention a church, a basilica, a church, a temple, a place where we go and worship God under the patronage of Our Lady. Let's ask our Blessed Mother to pray and intercede for us on this day. First reading today from Prophet Nahum, Prophet Nahum. And three different chapters, we have verses from all three chapters. Chapter 1, verse 15, chapter 2, verse 2, and then chapter 3, verses 1 to 3, and then verses 6 to 7. Let's get started with the reading of the Word of God for today. Look, on the mountains are the feet of the one who brings good tidings, who proclaims peace. Celebrate your festivals, O Judah. Fulfill your vows, who never again shall be shall the wicked invade you. They are utterly cut off. The Lord is, is restoring the majesty of Jacob as well as the majesty of Israel. Though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined their branches. Ah, city of bloodshed, utterly deceitful, full of booty. No end to the plunder, the crack of whip and rumble of wheel, galloping horse and bounding chariot, horsemen charging, flashing sword and glittering spear, piles of death, heaps of corpses, dead bodies without end. They stumble over the bodies. I will throw filth at you and treat you with contempt and make and make you a spectac spectacle then all who see you will shrink from you and say Nineveh is devastated who will bemoan her where shall i seek comforters for you the word of the lord thanks be to god in the continuation of the reading of the prophets we just ended prophet Jeremiah and here we can see God promising that he would rebuild Jerusalem. He says, look on the mountains are the feet of the one who bring good tidings and proclaims peace. God is bringing peace to Jerusalem once again. He is bringing peace to his people saying, celebrate your festivals, do your vows, no more enemies shall come to you. But then the prophet continues saying, but well, Israel, Jer uh, Jerusalem, the Israelite people, they continue sinning against the Lord. The Lord is not bringing the people back because they converted. They are perfect now. No, the Lord is bringing the people back because he loves them and he has mercy on them. Not because they deserve it, because God is God and he is rich in compassion rich in mercy. The Lord is saying, you are going back to your place, but you are still um, deceitful. You are still with so many wrong things in your heart. And the Lord pointed it out to the people, to, not to be pointing the finger and saying you're wrong, but to say, watch out, take care. I'm bringing you back to your place. I'm bringing you back to your homeland. But watch out. Keep me in your heart because without me, you can do nothing. Last verse says, where shall I seek comforters for you? 
The only comfort that we want, that we need, is the Lord. He is the only, the only one that can comfort our hearts. The canticle today, the, response, the responsorio today is a canticle from Deuteronomy chapter 32. The day of their calamity is at hand. Their doom comes swiftly. Indeed, the Lord will vindicate his people, have compassion on his servants. See, now that I, even I, am he, there is no God besides me. I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal. When I wet my flashing sword and my hand takes hold on judgment, I will take vengeance on my adversaries and will repay those who hate me. The Lord says, says here, hey, I'm a warrior. I'm defending you. The Lord will vindicate his people, have compassion on his servants. The Lord has compassion on each one of us. And the gospel for this Friday is from Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 24 to 28. Jesus told his disciples, If anyone to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This gospel of today, it was a mystery even for the disciples. What did the Lord mean when he, says, he said, there are some standing here who will not taste death before the kingdom of God be established before men. He, was he promising life? Was he promising people, uh, disciples, actually not to die? Or he was promising something else? Truly, I tell you, there are some standing here who do not taste death. The Lord here, he was he was talking about the death of the soul. He was saying that there among them, not only the disciples, but among them, there would be many that would have this intimacy with him, that would not taste death, death in their soul. Jesus says in the Gospel of St. John, even those who die will live in me. That's his promise. Even if we die in our bodies, we will be with him. This is heaven. This is eternal life. Jesus told his disciples that if they want to follow him, if they wanted to be truly disciples, they needed to deny themselves, take up their cross daily and follow him. Take up their cross every day and follow the Lord. And we all have many crosses. These are, this, these crosses are exactly our ticket to heaven. The crosses that we have in our lives are exactly what we need to be disciples. Jesus said, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. We want to be disciples of our Lord. So we need to accept our crosses, take them up and walk with him and follow him. Not grow, do not go in front of him, but to follow him, walk behind him. The Lord promised us eternal life. He promised us a life in union with him. Let us believe in it. Let us ask him to save us. Let us ask him to bring us with him. Let us ask him the grace of denying ourselves every single day to be true disciples, disciples that won't taste death, won't taste death on our souls, 
But even if our body, in our body, we die, we know that eternal life is waiting for us. Amen.